What's up, Fortnite fam? It's your favorite Fortnite commentator, Monster Deface, and today we are back with another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In today's video, we're taking a look at 9Z's Rustic. That's right. We're looking at the Brazilian region. We're doing something completely different, and it is for good reason. 9Z's Rustic actually popped off back to back. First place is here in the FNCS. I think it's one of the most underrated regions to exist. Remember, we have players like King from Argentina, King from Brazil, right? And many of the other top tier slayers like Leleo. And the list just goes on, man. Brazil was definitely on the come up during the World Cup days. I think it's about time we show them some more love. It's been a little minute since I've highlighted some Brazilian players. I don't even know where to begin. Just look at how much of a slay fest was going down for Rustic here. I think we're just going to take his best game, the first place, six eliminations. Let's see where he lands, and let's see how it is that he pops off. But before we jump any deeper into this review, guys, do not forget to, of course, subscribe to the channel. If you guys enjoy competitive content and news, please feel free to join up to the Monster Fam. We do this just about every single day. All right, Fortnite Fam, here we have it. We're jumping in with 90s Rustic. Looks like it's going to be a caddy drop let's go ahead and take a look at that battle map press the number six on that keyboard and open this up guys i've been considering doing some console vod reviews that's right taking the number one players from console and highlighting them up to the channel please let me know if you're interested in that i wasn't too sure if it'd be something you guys want to watch obviously console gameplay is not going to be on par with the best of the best pc but hey it's the best that they have to offer so it is something to think about it's something i want you guys to jump in on the com comment section and let me know before i commit to it also this run from Rustic is on par, on par with Arkham. I don't think we've seen anyone just absolutely clap out top 10s like this, okay? He didn't finish less than 10th place. I think his lowest placement was like a 7th. So this is a ridiculous consistency run. Granted, this is Caddy's loot, but I want to see how he plays it and how it all works out because I'll keep it real with you. I don't know about you guys, but I could land here, have Caddy's launcher, and probably still find some error and or not know how to really PvP or play with it, right? I think we've seen that before where players get Caddy's loot. You think you're supposed to just win because you have it, but then you don't really know how to play with it. So we're going to watch someone who's obviously a master at running this end game, running this mid game with the Caddy's launcher, Caddy's loot, and see how it all plays out for him. Today's mug of the day, y'all. We are back to the Muda, uh, to the Buddha mug. My gosh, the Muda mug. Yeah, yeah, because this is a mood, baby. A uh, little, little Buddha mug. If you guys haven't seen if you're new around here, we do a little mug of the day check. You feel me? You feel? Okay, so there is actually someone here. It's Exo's trolling. All right, all right. So he doesn't just get Caddy's loot for free. Mm. Oh, there it is. Wait a second. He is going to get it. Okay. So little did he know, Kid actually spawned on his side for a second there. Seeing that player jump around, I thought maybe he didn't get the loot. So he was going to have to go blue charge versus the enemy's mythic charge. But nope, he's got the charge shotgun. He's looking to get her done. He's trying to sneak his way out that window. A little tip and trick for you guys right there if you didn't know. Okay, now it's time to... Angle up here. Oh, Exo Cholin doesn't want nothing to do it yet. He's gonna hit the porta potty on out of here. That means that this entire spot is now free for Rustic here. Hopefully, it's Rustic and not Rusty K, but I think it's Rustic. Let's see what he's gonna find inside the vault. It's gonna be the launch pad, of course. Four chug splashes. My gosh, ammunition for days. And to top it all off, a couple of big pots that I don't even think he's gonna want here. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the map now. Where's the zone pulling? How's this all going to play out? This is going to be a northern zone, so there's going to be some serious movement we're going to have to be making here just to get to the safety. Nice little spread on the map. Yo, our latest review onto Marine Freeze was a banger, by the way. He lands in Coral. I never realized how busted that Coral loot was, but Coral is a little fire drop spot if you can secure the metal locations. You guys might be thinking, yo, monster, you look a little different today, you know? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not getting any younger. Okay, okay. Slow your roll, slow your roll. I know, I know. I'm glowing out here. That teen spirit. Not a teenager. But um, it's actually the new headset. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Look, I got the DT990s, man. Decided to try them out. I like them. I just don't have the mix amp yet. It should be coming in the mail. So I'll know once I get the mix amp 
you know, once I throw in some serious base up in there to see how they feel, I basically get a little side grade or an upgrade, depending on how you want to look at it, from the Astro A40s. Those are my previous ones. So now I'm using the DT990s, and I mean, they look slick. They feel pretty good. They have this nice pressure that they throw onto the on the side of the cups here, and they're um they're pretty much open back, so I can hear myself when I talk through them, which is kind of nice. It's a little different. I like that as opposed to the complete muffle sound that the Astros give. But what I'm not liking too much is the the additional pressure and the lack of natural bass that comes with them. So we'll see what happens once I get the mix up going. But all right, Rusty, Rustic here is gonna rotate out. He's gonna find a player. MSG. Looks like Satan, honestly. He's going to roll out with the boat. Nothing's going to happen here, but these peppers, man. These peppers are so good for the rotate. Perfect rotate here. Today's coffee, all black. With a dash of caramel syrup, sugar-free. Surprisingly, pretty good. Let me know if you guys want me to recommend to y'all. The stuff that I've been mixing in here, you only need like a, you only a little bit, and it has a nice little, nice little sweet taste to it. You know, only adds to the perfection that is the Caribbean delight. What's up with this though? Hmm. Seventy-seven players remaining. That's that's all right. You think about this. This is the last week, right? This is the last week of FNCS. If you guys watched FNCS Week 4 for NA East and EU, I want to say EU's NA East and, uh, and the Week 4 specifically was a lot more uh, rushed, right? Like, players were just trying to get through it. You could really tell they were trying to get through it. Hold on. Someone's calling my line right now. Oh, it's the honey's ringing. Hold up. Oh, it's, oh, it's my mama. <laughs> Time out. Hello? Hello? No, I didn't call you. What happened? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was Bruce? Okay. Damn, you're getting old. You can't even tell the difference between your sons. <laughs> All right, mama. All right, bye. Yo, how my mom's just going to ring my line and be like, you just called me? I'm like, uh, no. That was my older brother. Gosh. If you guys didn't know, I'm uh I'm the oldest of the siblings. 27 years old. I got a middle brother, a younger brother, and two baby sisters. One of my baby sisters, the older baby sister, who's 11. I guess I shouldn't say baby. Uh, yeah, she, my, my younger sister. She's not the baby anymore because Chloe's the youngest. But anyway, she's 11. She'll be uh, living here for the remainder of her school year. I've decided to allow her to do school in here in Texas with her big bro. And she's excited, man. She's excited. It's going to be the first time that she'll have her own room and kind of, you know, experience something outside of the normal New York City slums where, you know, I grew up. And obviously all, all my, most of my family lives. So with that, um, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy to have her come through. And it's going to be good for the little one, for Raya, who's also 11. So they're basically going to be little best friends. And they'll both have their own rooms here in the new home that we, we just got. So... Pretty excited, man. Big things. Exciting things. And just don't forget for all you guys tuning in out there. All right? Family first, y'all. Okay? Family first, man. Life is precious. Time is precious. But here we have it. Yo, Rustic. On the defense while he's on the rotate here. It's actually working out pretty well. He's firing at the guy behind him. I like this. Let me explain to you guys why really quickly. He's firing at the guy behind him, and the guy behind him isn't firing at him. What he's causing to happen here is... He's causing Gorilla to rotate off of his path and not just, you know, ghost him for free. And, of course, he's forcing Gorilla into blowing some of those material counts, right? Because he's going to have to protect himself. So, good defense here by Rustic. Just getting, you know, shooing the flies off him right here. Making sure that he's comfortable. That he's able to move for free here. And he's playing for the center. He's cutting inwards now. Player on the mountain, though, firing down. Not going to find anything lucky for him. Would suck to have to use chug splashes now. 
Although he is by the forest, so he could potentially get free. Ooh. All right, all right. A little bit of a risk now. But yeah, he could potentially get some free shrooms here. Let's see how it works out. Back in my day, a little shroom action. Don't hurt nobody. All right. You feel me? Take a little trip to Disneyland. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Don't even don't even think about it, kids. All right. Ain't bought on PC over here from another Team 9Z. It's kind of crazy. Having a name like that will get you banned from Fortnite nowadays. So you got to be careful. What do you guys think about epic actioning players with aimbot and stuff like that in their name to try and promote a healthier community and a less toxic relationship with the player base. I think it's kind of interesting. The players still do it. Also, talking about crazy interesting things, brother, Apple, Google versus the Fortnites. What? Oh no, that is actually insane. I hope that, uh, you know, Google doesn't decide to take them off of the YouTubes as well because if they just stop monetizing these videos, bros, Monster's gonna have to put on those red heels to hit the corner. Y'all know what I'm saying? I got bills to pay, man, okay? Like, we can't be having this whole Fortnite getting banned by YouTube and, and you know what I mean? By Apple. Like, what's happening, bro? It's kind of crazy, man, honestly. You're talking billion dollar problems. Insane. None of us would understand. None of us understand. Well, I don't. I can't talk for y'all. It's probably one billionaire, you know. My 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 maybe one millionaire billionaire viewer that's like, yeah, monster, I got those kind of problems. <laughs> yeah, okay. Relax, dude. Game really heating up here though. We're approaching that mid game now. Things are gonna start getting real. Hey, only six players have fallen since that last rotate so that's kind of that's kind of interesting the games are becoming more and more stacked as the time goes on the early game engagements on the brazilian regions were real the fights broke out i like where rustic has put himself man he's really got himself center into zone two moving into three this is like bro i'm just getting all the arc room vibes from this man not that rustic pulled off any dead side rotates or anything he just took pure advantage of um you know, going down the middle, right? And then pushing people off and, and honestly, just a time, timely rotate. The players that would have already been kind of doing their thing on the past, they were gone because of how far it was pulling. So interesting to see that the Brazilian region looks like most of them prioritize their early rotate. That's like the most ideal situation for a far zone pull is that you don't get yourself into some silly zone fight, right? That's kind of cool to see. That's kind of promising to see. Also, we haven't seen him even have a, a slight need for the Shockwave launcher or the Mythic weapons yet. Everything's been pretty pretty good for him. Ooh, that late rotator on the backside, Ovo there. That could easily be a focus point for Rustic if he really wanted to. And I'm assuming this is just a visual glitch, guys, so don't mind it. I was like, why in the world does he not have the floor open? Or does he have it open? But it's not It's not what's happening here. Yo, look at Thome. Young God right there. I see Laleo underneath the builds here. Directly underneath Rustic. Laleo, another young Savage. Savage. Oh my gosh. Yo, English is so hard this morning. Guys, we're, we have to cast later. It's early in the AM. I woke up 6 AM. You know what I mean? Had an interesting dream. Went back to sleep. Had another interesting dream. You guys want to know the dream? This is going to sound so stupid. But this is how you know, like, Fortnite, FNCS, Grand Finals, this kind of stuff adds a little bit of pressure to my shoulders. I was having a dream, and I, I remember it. It just came back to me. I was trying to think about it. You know how you forget your dream sometimes? Anyways, different story. The dream was I, I, had a, I had a tank top on. It was tucked in. I was getting ready to do Grand Finals on the main stage. And the top, the, the clock kept ticking down to when the show was going to start. But it was like a nightmare because I couldn't find my Fortnite t-shirt. I could only find shirts that were not allowed on the broadcast. I know this sounds so stupid. But I was only finding, it's like one of those silly nightmares that's like, 
this is a bad dream, but it's like, you know, it could be so much worse. Yeah, no, don't worry. I wasn't getting murdered or anything. I just couldn't find the damn shirt. And then I went to the production team and I asked them, yo, I need a shirt. The show's happening. Three minutes. Someone on the production team offered me their shirt. And I felt like I was winning the dream only to then find out the shirt was branded and it wasn't a shirt that I was able to wear. Such a stupid dream. In the end, though, in the end, though, my aunt, don't ask me how, my aunt was there. She she pulled the, uh, the baby blue shirt out. It was the baby blue shirt with a yellow ice cream man on it from Fortnite. Little Whip. There he goes. So Little Whip was the shirt that I was looking for the whole time. So actually, this is one of the first times I've actually beat the nightmare, you know? And then I woke up like, yeah, I showed up just in time. So pretty good. I know, stupid dream has nothing to do with Fortnite. I apologize if this video has been a long rant, but you know how it is. These are not just uh, breakdown vids. They're, they're journeys. They're journeys with the Monster Fan. Still like this video today for more rants. Dislike this video if you don't like my rants. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. 50 seconds left. Zone's already collapsing in. Players just got dropped on that northern half. Kurtz versus Teko. Got bodied. Rustic hasn't been doing much, man. He's kind of hanging out here. He's blown through, what, 30, 40 ammunition at best. So, still playing conservative for the most part. He can pop a chug splash right now, but he has decided not to. He's got that 80 shield. He's just kind of vibing right here on the extra heal. Possibly to see if he catches himself a comfortable, a comfortable frag, which would give him a nice little siphon. So, I don't blame him. Also, it's good to hold on to those splashes, right? If he ends up needing it for white health, I mean, it, it, it'd be a shame if he blew it just so he could stay above 200, right? White health becomes very valuable late in the games. Very, very valuable. This replay is kind of janky, too. You can see that the, the cone there is definitely bugging out. Hopefully, it's not blocking too much of the vision. A little wall open there. I'm assuming he's closed it now. Okay, zone favors him. Oh, this dude pulls straight up middle zone right now. Straight up middle zone right now. Kind of fire. Uh, Clarity's going to go up a level. So, and Clarity up here. He's like, yo, I just pulled zone. He went up a level. He's trying to play for a little bit of that height. So, now he's looking outwards. I wonder why Rusta keeps focusing up towards him. Like, if he wants to beam the guy nearby to maybe take a box fight. I can see that happening. Although, this is the free territory down here. All these players that have to move in from the outside mountain skirts. This is where you need to just, like, take a look at your map and see if you have anyone rotating deep from the outside. Those are the guys you want to focus on. All of your nearby neighbors, hey, they have zone just like you. They're not going to be moving, per se. They'll just be looking for some edits. Take a look at this edit. My man trying to pull the booga over here. Opening up the cone with the weird wall. It could be that there's no, um, that the wall's actually there, but Mr. Mr. Capo over there. Okay. Mr. Mafioso. El Jefe over there. You feel me? You guys, I'm just going to rebrand. I'm going to become El Jefe Monster. What do you guys think? I'm rebranding. Yo, he's got some serious beef against this guy. I think he wants to catch an impact frag. He's just not allowing this dude to get comfortable. Like, every time the edit comes out, every time this dude goes looking, like, he wants a piece of him. He wants a piece of that Kit Kat bar up here, my dudes. Nothing yet. 20 seconds remain before things really intensify for the lobby. 14 players have dropped since the last zone to this zone. So that's a lot of dead side. Well, that's a lot of late rotators there. That Ovo dude still popping off, man. Okay. Finds himself another one in the feed. Let's not forget that Rustic is actually chilling on wooden cones. So he's got to be careful with those. Easily see throughable. Bunch of shots coming in. He's looking to see if he can get a part of this. He's going to focus on Nyx, who's looking in the wrong direction now. 
Ooh, the little headshot there and the body shot. That's massive. 70 piece right there for the boy. Looking to break these builds now. He knows. Oh, this guy's in a low ground here. 150 medium bullets left now. Zone pulls. And it pulls pretty much. It favors him pretty much. He gets a nice, easy rotate forwards. This is an easy time to late rotate or allow people to start setting up those crash pads for you. Crash pad goes off to his right. I see the king is in this lobby as well. Okay, he's going to go way earlier than I expected him to go. Okay, okay. Double splash. You notice how he doesn't want to like use that last splash if he doesn't have to. He kind of saves it all the time. One step closer now. He's chilling. He's vibing on the edge here. Remember, he does have a launch pad, so he can totally, totally pad for zone 6, the next moving zone. This player Rhyme coming in hot. Okay, that was a wide shield crack. It's time to go, go, go now. Little splashes are going to come out, so he's going to back off of that. I like that. A little bit of composure here. Looking to see if he can find the floorboard. I want to pause really quickly just to take a nice, nice wide shot look at what's going on here. Holy moly. Yes, of course. The majority of the players just inch off the mountain. They want to have that high ground if they can. Across the way, though, not really the same thing happening because of the fact that it was playing out the bottom and then up and over. So anyone that got up there is because they came in nice and late. Or off of a, a launch pad or a crash pad. So, this just ends up working out for Rusty, too. Like, he's got a nice little comfortable nook with not a lot of enemies nearby. Goes to break the floor there, replaces it, making sure that he owns all the pieces of his box nearby. First zone pops. Ooh, it's a cross. Okay, so he has to cross here he's looking around now trying to figure out which exactly is the direction it's not north it's south here it's gonna be south over this mountain or actually it's, it's more west if anything so west southwest here so he has to cross this river bend and then get up and over that mountain this is definitely a launch pad zone man what he could be doing here honestly guys is be he could jump in the cone here for information and start hunting, start looking. Oh, I like that he's looking for the shots here, though. Honestly, if he if he was to just turn his focus only to the player that was um with a the grappler there, it could have been a free kill because of how slow they rotate in the air with the glider. Now it's time to pull out the shockwave. Good old hype. Easy take here. One launch pad across the river. Lands in the mid-ground. Instantly shockwaves up to height. Goes for the big shot. Doesn't find anything. But now it's a battle up here. It's a scramble. It's not for free. Not at all. Not just yet. But it looks like he was tagged in the process. Only 50 HP remains. No more splashes. Six minis. So he took a lot of storm damage there. Use the shockwave one more time to cut across. Now he's in the mid layers. Looking for another fight here. He needs one. He's only got five material, guys. Oh my gosh. Dang. Unfortunate for the guy on height. No, that's not even cool, bro. Came up flying like he was Superman, bro. Blasted out. Hit him with the Mortal Kombat underhook. Uppercut. Get over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, dang, bro. The finisher, the fatality. All right. High ground is his now. Second Elam comes rolling through the door there. It's just going to work. We know what's going to happen. He's going to run this high ground. Oh, my gosh. Bro, Rhyme's been bouncing around for a hot minute now. That dude had that dude had a nice amount of uh, crash pads, to be honest. Okay, floor's going to break here. All good, though. I was going to say, you got to make sure you reload it. He's looking for anything. This is one of the struggles, right, when you're on high ground. Finding where the frags are, man, it's it's not easy to do. You want to stay high enough to stay safe, but you also want to be active enough. Oh, oh, he almost launched this dude out the zone. It's not going to be enough, though. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that today 
The shockwave launcher is going to run the entire end game. I'll be honest, the last time we watched competitive Fortnite at the highest tiers, which was DreamHack Grand Finals, Shockwave did not run the games. I think only one or two players won with the Shockwave. Yes, it's a disrupting force and factor, but it's actually not the reason people win the games. Dang, he picked up so much material there. That was a big risk, and it's going to work out. He also gets a bunch of Shockwaves, a bunch of RPGs to work with. A lot of Elans left on the table here because of the fact that he's playing a little passive. As I mentioned it, though, he does find one. Now it's time to continue to cook here. He's playing it super safe. He wants the victory royale. He's already had one in the competition from when we're tuning in, and he just had a high place in game, which I think was the second place. Well, he just came off the second, so he could be playing for the victory royale now. This is still impressive all around. Just how consistent he was throughout the course of the day. He didn't get caddy for free, right? He had to fight for it, but he just had the better of him. It could be that maybe he lucked out with how many times the launcher landed on his side. Good jump shot, though. Still looking for more. Five players remaining. Nick Allen, Koth. SKP on the low ground. Good use of just the one-second zone there, making sure that he doesn't body himself. By the storm line. You don't want to lose HP here to the storm if you don't have to. Still use the shockwave. Sends Allen flying, dude. Oh, my gosh. I think he's going to win by default here. Oh, Allen. Oh, man. Allen actually. Yo, Allen's cheeky, bro. He stole the player on the bottom before they. Yo, credits to Allen, dude. Even though. Even though he was sent flying out the zone, bro. He actually caught the siphon. Which allowed him to stay alive for a little bit longer. Dude, Rusty, obviously, this is easy peasy here. He's only got the shotgun left, but yes, the Storm's going to win this game for him. He sends off the flashy shot in the process as well. Zero medium bullets left now towards the end. I wonder, I was talking about he was playing a little passive, but was it because he was just low on ammunition? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna backtrack a little bit here before we before we head on out this one, dudes. Ah, it all makes sense. It is because he was low on ammunition. I didn't really catch that. I didn't really catch that. I figured after he caught that refresher that he was going to be big vibing. Yeah, he had 40 bullets here. That makes sense. That's why he jumps down here. He tries to go for as much loot as possible. He was pretty much in shambles medium bullet-wise. He knew he had the one flopper, so he was able to bounce back from this, but he still never found it. But uh, leading up to this, he did have the ammo to, to do the work. So the calls are still right. GG's dope. Ends up working out. Yo, guys, don't forget to like this one on your way out the door. It's another monster morning, man. We're vibing, dude. A little bit of a special episode for the Brazilian region. Just want to show off Rusty K. But, hey, no surprise if someone as skilled as Rustic is playing off of the caddy's loot, right? It's just going to happen, man. They're going to steamroll. GG.